Hey there, Jed Coburn is here with the Exercise Physiology Show. This is episode 25. Holy moly, 25 already? Um, I'm a former fat kid. I have an exercise science degree. Uh, I have just an immense amount of passion for people who don't believe in themselves anymore. And that's what I do, I provide that belief. So, um, and I answer questions, right? I answer questions if anybody has any pertaining health and wellness. I'm just a giant, not giant, right? But uh, a giant filter, I'll say giant. <clears throat> because there's just so much crap out there. There's just so much crap on the internet and that's where people are turning nowadays for health and wellness advice. So I just feel like I'm a filter for that. So. Um, I got a question yesterday about sleep and weight loss and eight ways to fake being a morning person. That's kind of what today's about. 25, holy moly, episode 25. It's a quarter, right? Quarter way to 100. How many shows do you think I'll get done before I think I'm gonna quit? Like, comment, and share, right? Share all of this stuff, because it's all free. I'm just doing this basically out of bottom of my heart, because um, I believe that there are people out there that need to hear it, that want to hear it, they just don't know it yet. So like, and comment, and share wherever you think, um, whoever you think we need to hear this. So, what does sleep do for weight, well, weight loss? <clears throat> Well, you actually burn the most calories while you're sleeping. Isn't that crazy? It's somewhere around um, a thousand calories you burn at night just by sleeping. So, what does that look like? Why? You know why? Well, your body actually burns calories by doing nothing at all. There's a steering wheel. I do everything in my car. Um, your body actually burns calories all day. You know, it's called your basal metabolic rate, is what's your minimum amount of calories. I mean, your heart's gotta function, your brain's gotta function, your internal organs, right? I mean, your stomach, your intestines. I mean, so it's, it's always burning, your body's always burning calories. And the first thing, you know, you should think about is hours. How many hours of sleep are you getting? If you're thinking, well, I can't sleep. Well, think about how that sounds first, okay? So the next thing would say I would say would be to get at least six hours. I mean, you've probably heard that before, but at least six hours of sleep every day um, because that puts your body into that REM cycle, the rapid eye movement, the really deep sleep that you get a rejuvenating, uh, rejuvenating and um, I would say healing factors going on there. If, if you can get eight to nine, that's ideal. Some people can't, some people don't have enough time. Um, they, they just can't sleep that long. Whatever, right, you can't. Think about how that feels. Can't is not, should not be in your vocabulary. You can, you can, you can, right? That's, I don't know how many times I, I always say that. It's just you can, you can, you can, you can. And then the first thing you wanna do in the morning is grab some water. Your body, you, water and some protein, really. Because your body goes into basically starvation, which is fine, I mean, it's okay, because that's kind of how it works in the morning. But you need to you need to stoke that fire. You need to, you need to ignite your metabolism. You need to hydrate your body. And water and protein are the best ways to do that. Uh, there are products out there. I use a few, right? I use one specifically, but I won't talk about that. I don't, I don't want to, you know, turn anybody off to say, oh, he's just using one product. You got to use what product's right for you. And I have my product. So, um, I would say the next thing you need to do is you need to move, right? You wake up, you grab some water, you eat your protein, and then move. Do like 30 seconds 
or even a minute of just some high knee marches, right? You gotta get your body moving. I um, heard a pretty cool thing yesterday is motion is lotion, right? That was cool. Um, motion is lotion for the joints in the body. So you gotta move around, right? You gotta move around. Um, so here it is. So I found this sweet article yesterday. Eight ways to fake being a morning person. It's from health.com. You know, always some pretty good stuff coming from them. But so the first one is wake up, you know, um, wake up better. It's it basically, you know, about 60% of Americans wake up feeling groggy at least a few times a week, according to the National Sleep Foundation survey. To wake up feeling refreshed, there are plenty of things you can do before bed, whoa, like drinking chamomile, <clears throat> uh, chamomile tea, avoiding, whoa, this camera is kind of weird today, there we go, um, avoiding checking your email, right, under the covers, um, what you can do in the morning when you need a little push off the mattress is to get going, what can you do? So here's some tricks. It says, stop hitting the snooze button, right? I used to do this a lot. Like I hit it probably once at most nowadays, at most. Um, because actually, if like I was talking about with sleep, it, it actually takes you out of that deep healing sleep and it just comes into, it brings you into that shallow, um, it's still okay sleep, but you're gonna wake up feeling groggy and cloudy and you know, all kind of brain foggy and stuff um, Basically what it says Is if you do hit it The your brain uh, We'll get there <laughs> Right it says your brain goes in and out, right? It goes in and out. If you just wake up, try this. If you just wake up, there's two things. Throw your feet off to the side and then put them down on the floor. You'll be way less resistant to um, stand or to go back to bed. The other thing is put the alarm clock in the other side of the room, right? <clears throat> All right. Um, Next one is keep your shades drawn. There's actually a lot of um, a lot of information out there when it comes to light and your body cycles. <clears throat> so keeping it all dark. Um, if you are you know you, you work nights or work days, you gotta have a dark area, a dark place. Um, the next thing would be stick to a schedule. You want to even on the weekends stick to this schedule because. You're gonna ruin that, it's called a circadian rhythm. It resets every day and you don't really want to, um, you don't really want to log those extra hours, let's say. You don't really want to give your body that much because then you're throwing it off for the next day. So you want to keep everything in a rhythm, even on the weekends. I've noticed after having kids, the, the kids definitely are good at that, where they wake up, you know, just like it was a weekday, and that has helped immensely. I mean, that's just for me personally, but. Um, <clears throat> wake up with an activity tracker, right? Activity trackers like Fitbits and Jawbones and blah, blah, you know, all those fun stuff. Um, really, it can it can help you. It can help you track and help you move. It'll help you wake up and, and get your get your motivation right right here. It'll keep you going. Splash your face with cold water. Holy moly! It's an old trick, but it works, right? One study says in two, one 2003 study found that people wash their face after a nap felt less tired afterwards. It can trigger an automatic reflex that'll give you a surge of adrenaline. Hey, right? Adrenaline. Gotta love it. <clears throat> Get moving. Whoa, what? That's what I said. No matter what type of exercise you like to do, whether it's yoga or running, this is what the article says, being active can help you wake up in the morning. So, like I said, you know, get yourself a minute of high knee march. Drink some water. Wow, okay, that's what I said too. Um, you, you need water. You definitely need water. You have spent, you know, 
six to eight, maybe nine hours sleeping without any liquids, throw it in there. Um, schedule more morning activities. You know how it's easier to wake up on Christmas morning if you knew the presents were under the tree? Ooh, I like that one. You know how it's easier to wake up on Christmas morning if you if you know that there were presents under the tree? Excitement or even just plan a plain old obligation can be a powerful motivator. So plan more in the morning. I like those. That's a nice article. Um, but yeah, plan more and get more excited in the morning. Who knew that that would be good, right? Or just plain old obligation, you have to go somewhere, so get up right away. So sleep, weight loss, and how to be a morning person. You don't have to be a morning person if you're not one, but how to be healthier with in the morning. It's a pretty good, that's a pretty good article. Um, yeah. So I always keep about 10 minutes, I know I'm a little over, but <clears throat> Just at the end here, right? I mean, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to believe in yourself. And you have to know that I believe in you. So today, if you're making it this far in the video, I always appreciate people who make it all the way to the end. I really do. Not many people do. Um, but today, if you could, let me know zero to ten scale hook me up with with your number what is your belief in yourself ten is the best zero is the worst hook me up with the number I am at today currently I would say a 9.5 yep I'd say 9.5 almost 100% belief in myself there's a few things I would say a 10 would be perfect and nobody's perfect that's my opinion okay um so yeah thanks for making it all the way to the end and like comment and share 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 this video with somebody who you know you think would want to or need to hear this information believe in yourself have a great day